Hey everyone, I'm James Montemagno. And I'm Myra Wenzel. Myra, I'm super excited because one of my favorite features of C Sharp is getting rid of nulls with null coalescing. And I uh, believe that you have an awesome demo talking all about it, correct? Yes, let's jump into some code to see that. So what are we doing uh, here today? Yeah, so we're going to be looking at uh, the code into a .NET interactive notebook. So we can just run the snippets right from Visual Studio Code. Cool. So let's run in, like import our namespaces that we're going to be using. Uh, and in this case, um, before we normal coalescent operators, if you needed to test the value of a variable, you either had to write like a bunch of if statements, or if you're using like here, a conditional operator, um, you would have to check like if it's no, and then if not, then um, if it is, assign a value. If not, you can assign the value of that variable. So in this case, um, it's checking. Um, if A is null, it's going to be minus 1. Otherwise, we'll assign the value of A to B. Gotcha. In this case, A was null, so we got minus 1. So if you change the value of A to something else, so let's change it to 5, um, it should print 5 next time we run. Perfect. Yeah, because here in this case, since it's not null, it will just assign it to itself, right? And this is, you know, this you do a lot of null checks in code, and I I see myself doing this all over the place. If this, you know, this string is null or this is null, and I have all these if statements everywhere, um, and even this is one line of code, but it's not really readable. That's sort of my problem with this kind of conditional operator. And I've never been a fan, Myra. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. So with no coalescing, we make that much simpler. So no coalesce is the double question mark operator. And it's going to do its evaluate the left hand side first. If it's not null, it will return that value. It can be an expression. In, in this case, it's just A, but you could do something more um, like more complex in this case. Um, if it, if it is null, then you will go and evaluate the, the right hand side. So in this case, it's minus one. So in, in this in this example, it should be the same thing as previously. Return minus one if a is null. Otherwise, um, it's it's going to print the value of a if it's not null. So if we were change this to five like we did before, now it's not null. Yeah. So that's that's very simple, but it made the code so much like cleaner and easy to read. That's very cool. And like you said, even though we're just assigning this to negative one here, that could be anything. That could be, you know, logical math. It could be another, you know, pizza dot name or dot size or something like that. It could be anything over there. It doesn't have to be just like this negative one. You can have anything over there, correct? Yes, correct. Very cool. All right. Null coalescing operators. I love them. Make coding so much cleaner. I love it. Yeah, and you go check out uh, our resources and docs for more information on how to use it. Oh, very cool. Yes, all over here. We'll put those into the show notes. And I do love these docs because you can just click run and you're good to go. Very cool. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.